what is up guys welcome back to my channel hope you guys are having a wonderful day i know you guys haven't seen me in quite a while uh haven't uploaded much lately i have nothing but i've been taking care of some stuff but uh yeah lately if you have me on instagram if you have me on instagram then you know what happened uh, to me in a couple of days ago or weeks ago whenever you're watching this video i don't know but um i went ahead and fractured my finger so i kind of been I was out for like a couple of two days just because of the fucking the pain that I was going through. But other than that, I went back to work. So now um, I'm gonna give you guys a whole little um, quick story time about how that happened, what happened, and the little dumb mistake that I did. And now, obviously, now I learned from that mistake not to do it again. But just put it like that. Uh, if you guys can see all the little dots, that's all blood. <laughs> but. Like I said, I'm going to go into details. I'm going to give you guys a story time what happened with my finger. But for now, my boy Onassis is going to come by. He's going to go ahead and tint my truck, my windshield. As you guys know, I hate having a fishbowl windshield just because people look... I, I, don't, I just don't like having people looking at me inside. Obviously, especially in a single cab because it's such a small space that compared to this one, this one has windshield tint too, but the windshield tint... Is a little bit dark just because it's a whole bigger uh, atmosphere inside the truck. It's four doors, so there's more darkness inside compared to the these single cabs. It's only a single cab, so there's only so much light that comes in and bounces back out from like there's not a much there's not enough room for it to reflect around the whole cabin. You know what I mean? You guys probably know what I mean. But um, even with the five percent, it looks it looks freaking clear inside. You can see straight up inside my truck try the cabin and you can see inside of the cabin of the truck without the tent but and for the ones that do know i have one percent all around the whole truck um so the windshield i'm gonna do it maybe 35 most likely i think that's what i'm gonna go with 35 because i don't want to do 20 20 is too dark uh, and then top of that it's already dark black interior inside the truck so it already contrasts the the lighting inside so it's gonna be dark already in general but I just want to go ahead and some, I want to have something so you really just can't see. Like, I want to be able to still see out from the inside out, but I want to, from the outside, just to not be able to see, like, whoever's inside of the vehicle. Like, obviously, if you can still see the whole little, the mirror or the little air fresheners, and that's fine with me, as long as you just can't really, like, as long as you can't really see the figure of who's inside of the vehicle, you know? That's my, that's, that's how I see it. But, that being said, my boy and I just told me to take this bitch off, so uh, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. I think it's just a little. Oh, I know, yeah, it's a, it's not, it's not that big of a problem. But the truck is a mess, so let me just go ahead and show you guys what I mean. But you can see inside. See, I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but you can straight up see inside. And like without the camera just in person you can see my seats you can see if there was someone inside you know obviously my license plate all that stuff so i just don't want to see inside and comparable to this one comparable to this one excuse how dirty this damn truck because i have not watched it in like probably a month and plus i don't know it's been so long i haven't watched it but excuse that but obviously on this one you can't really see shit can't see inside you can barely see the outline of the air freshener the chalino sanchez air freshener and then uh the rosary that i have hanging there you can barely see it. i don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up but person that's all you can barely see you can't see all inside you know so that's what i'm aiming for and trying to get done to this truck so that's gonna be it for that video so we're gonna do the tent from windshield tent and i'm probably gonna go to the store and go buy some oil because i need to do the oil change in this truck soon uh, so yeah, and then I'll give you guys a story of what happened with this finger. So see you guys when my boy gets here. So.
Ahora sí. All right, guys. So we got the the tent done on the windshield. We went with the 35. Uh, as you guys can see, shit, it's perfectly just for me. Look, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but bro, you can barely see anything inside. Like, who's in there? That's just perfect for me because I don't want I don't want it to be too dark nor too light. So obviously before it was too light, you can see straight up inside. And uh, I didn't go with the 20% just because that's too dark. I mean, I didn't mind it from the inside with the 20%, but from the outside, it's just completely, there's like a whole layer of like 5% on it. But anyways, uh, that's just perfect for me. Like I said, right on point. It has the same percentage as this one over here, 35. So this has a 35 too. Uh, so that is right perfectly. So now, like I said, we're gonna go to the store. I'm gonna go ahead and buy some oil for this truck because it's about to be overdue on the oil change. Uh, so I will be explaining uh, how this happened on the way over there. So let's go out there and then see you guys. We're on the road and I'll explain to you guys what happened. So. All right guys, so. Let me explain to you guys what happened with this finger situation. Yeah, so 
we okay so first of all we just came back from walmart i don't know about you guys but i buy my oil at walmart instead of a freaking autozone and o'reilly's and all that stuff just because it's like almost double the price at an auto parts store than at a walmart that's just me saves a little bit of bucks but it is what it is but yeah so i went ahead and i already bought uh got my malonas uh oil change stuff that i'm gonna need obviously the the filter and another quart and i always do one of these every every other oil change i try not to do it a lot but just every other oil change that's just me i don't know if i think they do make a difference but i don't know if some people it's different happened i think it was a couple days ago uh i had went out that day i went i came back and uh well obviously i think this truck this truck was hooked up to the trailer when uh when i left in this truck so i came back I was like, nah, you know what? I'm gonna hook up the trailer right now just because so I don't have to hook it up in the morning. That way, um, I just hop on the truck and dip, get out. But this time, uh, so I was, so for the ones who don't know, my, uh, my the little uh, jack for the trailer that lifts off, that lifts the trailer off from the ball, that thing had broke. Well, it had a bent because it was dragging uh, since, this truck, since this truck is still pretty stock high. And then with all the weight, it was dragging on the floor when I would hit a bump on a bump hill on the bump. Uh, so every time like I would hit like go like that with the truck, the, the thing with the jack stand from the trailer would hit. And as over time, after hitting it so many times, it eventually bent. So the thing doesn't work. It did, it wasn't working anymore. So I was having to use the car jack. As you guys can see, probably back there in the back, I was having to use that to lift up the trailer off the truck, you know? So yeah, so I was using that, blah, blah, blah. Remind, remind you guys, this was, this isn't really the best thing to be doing, but that was my only choice until the new one had came in. So yeah, fast forward to that day, kid got back, I started uh, jacking the thing back into the trailer, back into the uh, ball hitch. And there was like this much left for it to, to, to it connect. So usually, you know, you, I know you guys do, uh, yeah, push him or yeah, like, kicking whenever when there's like this much left for it to just connect so in my case that's what i was doing i was kicking it literally it was just probably like not even like half of an inch left for it to to hook up so i grabbed my i was grabbing it with my hand and uh well since this it's on the car jack remember it's on the car jack it's not the safest thing but i pushed it enough to where like it, it got to where it almost got enough grip and then uh, it slipped off the car jack where it was where it was hanging where it was holding on to you know uh, so then uh, so when it slipped off that thing fell off the car jack and uh, what the fuck it fell off the car jack and my finger was obviously while well, I was holding it from the bottom I was holding the trailer like this and my other hand was on top of it moving it so when it slipped off my trailer when it slipped off the ball so when it slipped off the car jack the thing fell so let me put it like this so i was moving it like that moving the trailer like that and then um once it slipped off the, the car jack the thing uh so it fell and obviously the whole weight of the trailer fell on my finger fell on my finger like this and then my finger hit the my, the top part of the finger hit the uh, what was it? hit the hit the car jack since the car jack was under it. By the time when the whole thing fell and it landed on my on my finger, at that point I figured I know I know I knew I, I I had broken something. I felt like I felt it right away. So I was I guess lucky enough to barely pull off my finger off the weight. And uh, the first thing I feel for the first couple like two minutes probably I didn't feel no pain. But I was able to feel something was dangling on my finger, and which of course that was my nail that was hanging. I tapped in, that thing was whole loose, completely loose. Uh, I don't know. It just was just disgusting at that point. And I was dripping blood everywhere on the floor and all that stuff. Uh, I can post a picture if you want. If you want me to post a picture on the video, guys. But I don't even know if YouTube is going to let me or is it probably going to ban the video. So here, here's a picture of how my nail looked. So, 
Fast forward, I ended up in the hospital. This was like probably like around 12 a.m. in the morning. Fast forward, it was there. My dad took me to the hospital. See, I was there at the hospital from 12 to 5 in the morning. That was the longest time I've ever been in the hospital. I mean, I haven't been to the hospital in a, in a minute. Like there is, there was not really no reason for me to be in the hospital. But that was that, guys. Um, fortunately, uh, they had told me that I had fractured my the tip of the bone of my finger, and they they stitched back my nail together because they said that my nail was still savable. It was still good. So I didn't have to. They didn't have to remove my whole nail for it to go in. So. That was, I guess that was the good thing, but other than that, I had to wear this little cast on my finger for like, God knows who long, how long I gotta wear it, but I have to wear it. I'm going again to the hospital and they're gonna take those stitches off. Uh, that should be interesting because uh, that shit is probably gonna hurt. <laughs> so uh, I'll keep you guys updated how that works. So right now I've been having to work with one hand. Uh, that shit's been a little bit challenging, but learning how to work with one hand actually so and i mean it is what it is it was just a stupid mistake of myself that i did i should have not even been pushing it knowing that it was it could have slipped off the trailer but uh, it is what it is happened already so now uh, like i said i had this little cast for i don't know how long i'm gonna have it so that's that basically a little quick story time over in my fractured little middle finger basically my fractured middle finger now i have an actual reason to hey, flip you off now that's all that being said guys i mean i hope you guys like this it was a quick video got the tin done on this truck you know can't be riding with no tin uh, so make sure to hit the subscribe button hit that like button We're close to 600 600 subscribers we're on the road of 600 uh, little by little like i said uh so Stay tuned for the updates on the white truck. I do have the parts in already. Just gotta take them to the painter to get them color matched. So hopefully that'll be anytime soon. Upcoming videos probably. So like I said, hope you guys have a wonderful day. Make it a great day, make it a positive day. See you guys in the next one. So deuces.